Hey, Corodication, welcome to day 45. Today, Andrew, I was curious if you had any type of collection, like something that you collect. I have some magnets. These are a collection of random things, places that we've been to. And uh, it got me thinking, do you collect anything? And if so, I'd love to see it. So can you show me what you collect? And since I'm in the kitchen, I'm just gonna leave you in one of the drawers in my kitchen. Good luck, bye. Do that. Corey, this is just amazing me how you keep lining up in my kitchen drawer. So I'm like you, Corey, and I believe that we got, you better believe it, together. Uh, we collect magnets, um, but since you already have that, huh, I got, let me show you. So when I was a kid, I used to collect baseball cards and I kind of stopped doing that. Now the boys collect some. Um, but, you know, I like baseball, Corey. I like baseball. You see, got a few guitars back there, but I wouldn't say that I collect those. But, I like going to Braves games and collecting bobbleheads. I can't figure out how to move my finger here. There we go. Bobbleheads. I like bobbleheads. And, um, we will, you know, we'll go to games from time to time and we'll try to catch the bobblehead games. We catch a Braves game, we get, to, we, get, we get to watch baseball, and we get to walk away with a collector's item. So it's pretty cool. Um, now, where I'm gonna hide you is I'm gonna hide you in this closet here in, in your clothes. So make sure you, make sure you, you know, make sure you have clean clothes in your closet, Corey, because that's where you're gonna be. That's funny, there it is. Andrew, that's awesome. Hey, uh, before we jump into our game for today, I want to check in with the Beam family. They made an awesome Bible parable video. They sent it in. Thank you for sending in your videos. That's always so kind. And you can check out this Bible story in Matthew 22 to understand more. So let's check in. Well, first, let's check in with Batman. Okay, now let's go check in with the Beams. Mm, I'm so bored. I have an idea. How about we have a party? Hey, you wanna come to my party? No, I'm too cool to do. You wanna come to my party? I'm too rich. Oh. No one's coming to my party. Do you wanna come? Because they think they're so cool. If those people think they're so cool and they can't come to your party, maybe we should have some other people. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Hey, you wanna come to my party? Ah, uh, I'm old, not as cool, but sure. Okay. Ha, huh, do you want to come to my party? We wear, we wear clothes, but sure. Hey, you want to come to my party? Uh, well, we wear, we wear clothes and shirt. Soccer has been amazing this year. I love playing offense because, well, I'm pretty fast and I'm learning how to shoot better every week. All year, Coach has said the rule for the ladybugs is to pass three times before you shoot. Everyone on the team has scored a goal. Except for Madison. We are nine and six and probably going to the tournament. Today when I got the ball, I had the perfect shot. It was just me and the goalie, and I was ahead of everyone. It would have been easy, but I could hear Coach saying, Pass three times before you shoot. I passed it to Madison. I know I still could have made it, but I'm glad she did. Love, Lainey. A long time ago, there were these people called court jesters, and they kind of looked like this. And the idea behind these people is they had one job, and that was to make people smile and laugh, to bring joy to people. And so I thought, maybe if I found one of those pictures, then I could find joy for myself. You see, this 
is a joy catcher. My idea is simple. All I have to do is find people that seem like they have joy in their life and I just kind of point this at them and I'll catch their joy and then I'll have joy in my life too. Okay, it seems like a good idea. It's actually a terrible idea because the reality is that nobody can fill us and give us joy apart from Jesus. See, it's not about looking at other people and what they might have, but it is truly turning to the one place that we can find true joy. And that is not through anybody who can just make us smile and laugh, but the one place that we can find true joy in our life is, of course, only through Jesus. When we let Him fill our life, He alone can bring us the true joy that we desire, and because Jesus alone is the one that can give us joy. It is so easy to be anxious right now with everything that's happening in the world around us. We might wonder when things are going to get back to the way we want them to be. What's going to happen next week, next month, next year? A lot of anxiety can build up within our lives. But Psalm 94, 19 says that when anxiety was great within me, your consolation brought me joy. That means that even when I am anxious, I can turn to God and know that He can give me joy. And that's a truth that you can know too. That even when things seem challenging and difficult, He can bring you joy. And I hope that Jesus truly will be your hope and your joy today. All right, Andrew, I have a new game for you today. This game is called More or Less Bible Trivia Round 1. And for this game, you will have 10 questions that you need to vote whether you think the stat that's given, the information that is given is more or less. You just simply vote with your thumb if you think it's more or less. 10 questions. How many do you think you can get right? It's Bible trivia. Maybe five out of 10, we'll see. Let's see if you playing at home can beat Andrew. Good luck, Coronation. Good luck, Andrew. Here we go. More or less. Guinness World Records estimate somewhere around 1 billion copies of the Bible have sold. More. I think it's more. More. Boom! Yes! The shortest chapter in the Bible is Psalm 117 with only four verses. More. Two verses. Gutenberg Bible, one of the first Bibles printed, was sold for 1.4 million, a record for a print. Less? Let's hope that's less. That's a lot of money. 5.4 million? Oh. The U Version Bible app has been downloaded on 130 million unique devices. Um, less. 420 million unique devices. That's cool. The Bible app for kids has animated Bible stories and interactive games in 22 different languages. More. More. 52. That's awesome. That is cool. The longest word in the Bible is 20 letters long. Less. More. More. I bet it's somebody's name. 18. I was right, though. I'm pretty sure that's somebody's name. The Bible is about 911,000 words long. More. 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 Really? Okay. I was wrong. Corey, you, you might be right. The Bible was written over a period of 1,000 years by approximately 20 different authors. More. 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 Boom. I was pretty confident about that one. Let's see. The 66 books of the Bible have a total of 91,173 verses. More. More. 31,000. Okay, I was wrong, it was less. There are a total of 44 named women in the Bible. Oh gosh, I don't know. More. Boom. Got it. Way to go. Way to go, Andrew. All right, guys, I think Corey was right. I only did like five of them right. Uh, I hope you guys did better. I just, apparently I didn't know my Bible stats very well. So 
Hopefully you guys did better and we will see you tomorrow. Peace out.